All right, let's get right into today's topics. Now, today we will go over three tips for navigating cruising power. Um, we'll be looking at ship locator, pre-cruise planner, and the icon website. Super interesting tips right there that you'll learn. Now, one of the things I wanna highlight, remember cruising power is a dynamic suite of integrated tools used to improve the way you interact with your clients. Today's focus, as I said, will be the three tips that we're sharing, ship locator, pre-cruise planner, and we will look in, be looking at the icon website. Now displayed here, you will see once you've logged into cruising power, you have the ship locator, and that is located under the planning tool section. So under planning tools, the ship locator, what this does is allows you to quickly locate where your Royal Caribbean International and celebrity cruiser ships are deployed across the globe. You'll also be able to keep up with all the latest deployment information by ship, region, and even for individual ports of call, as well as view and download the most current announcements that are displayed. Now for cruise planner, which is in the middle, and that's under ship, um, under planning tools as well, this will allow you to see cruise announcement options and prices for your clients to book, such as beverage packages and shore excursions. And then the last one that we have is under your sales and marketing tab, which is this cover icon of the seas, an especially crafted site to give you exclusive information on Royal Caribbean's newest ship. I know we're all excited for its debut next year. You can also send personalized information straight from the site to your clients. So the first one that we're actually gonna look at is the ship locator. Now for ship locator, after logging into cruising power, click on planning tools and select ship locator. What's going to happen is you'll have that lovely pop-up window. And within the pop-up window, you can search by ship, port name, region, or you can launch the map. That's at your discretion, whichever way you wanna go ahead and filter through, you can do it. Now, what you're looking on is the map overview. Now to the left-hand side of the screen highlighted in the red box is the menu pane. So what that does is display additional information such as the announcements, a list of deployments, search by ships and regions. Clicking on the exit map will close out the entire page. So you wanna be careful where that is concerned, but if that happens, it's easy for you to get back in. Now for the announcement section here, um, if you look, we see we have spectrum announcement for China deployment. Um, we have some icon of the seas bar and nightlife in information that is also displayed. So any sort of in announcement, you're gonna find it there. The next one is for your deployments. Deployments will all, uh, allow you to pretty much filter and browse by the brand, the class of ships, uh, regions, ports, and along with that, you have the sailing year option to filter through your search, all right? And again, this is going to be a mix of celebrity and royal information, but you always have the option to filter by brand. Now, similarly with the ships, you can filter by your ships, you can narrow it down by the class and you can narrow it by the brand. So we have some royal and we have some celebrity ships on um, being displayed here. And with regions, regions also help you to narrow that search based on the region that your clients are interested in or regions that you are interested in, you know, um, offering your clients. Now I'm gonna show you the right filter and that is located to the top right-hand side of the screen. Now clicking on the filter button, you can filter the deployment for the next 30, 60 or 90 days. You can filter by month and you can filter by brand. So I wanna just make sure everybody's able to see that and that is located to the top right-hand side. You can filter by regions, home ports, and you can filter it down a little bit more to get more concise information. 30, 60 days, sailing year, brand, narrow it down a little bit. So we're gonna use the filters on the right to filter for celebrity cruises. Uh, let's see what celebrity has in store for 2024. 
So the map will adjust based on the filters entered. So we know for a fact that Celebrity does Galapagos because you'll see the difference once I transition to Royal Caribbean. So we have Galapagos and South America salience for Celebrity. Now I'll switch over to um, Royal. Let's see what Royal has on a 90D. And if you look, you can see the difference. There is no Galapagos for Royal, so you can really see that the filters are changing. All right. Now, selecting a particular region will display their home port. So I have region selected, and all you're seeing are just the individual regions that we have based on the brand that is chosen. Similarly, home ports will display all home ports based on the filters that you have entered. Now, because Royal Caribbean is in our middle name, let's focus on them a little bit. Now, if you look to the top right, the filters have updated before they were region and home ports. But because I have filtered the region to the Caribbean, now we're seeing home ports in the Caribbean being displayed. So we have Galveston, New Orleans, Tampa, Miami, and so forth. And if I filter by port of call, what I'll see is only deployed sailings in the Caribbean. That's what's going to be displayed. So filtering by port of call will display various ports based on the region selected. And if you decide to hover over any of the green location pins, What's going to display is the number of itineraries and the current ship scheduled to visit that port of call. So, for example, I am hovering over Cape Liberty in New Jersey. It shows we have 10 itineraries out of there or, or visiting there and current ships that are listed. Now, let's take a look at Galveston. Galveston, same. We have uh, 38 itineraries visiting Galveston and currently five ships calling Galveston as their home port. Now at the bottom, there's a deployment details section. And that deployment details will give you additional information on that home port for Galveston or any port for that matter. So once you've clicked on the deployment details hyperlink, what will display is additional information such as the ship schedule to visit, the destination bio, and a list of ship and itineraries leaving from Galveston, as is displayed here. Now, one of the best things or the one of the you know fantastic opportunity from this screen is to send an e quote to your clients to get them interested in the wonderful cruise options we have to offer, kind of whet their appetite a little. Selecting e quote from this screen will allow you to send the itinerary your, your client is interested in, or if you're interested in quoting them something from here, you are able to do that. Now, once you're on the e quote screen, you will be able to select multiple sailings and make any additional adjustments that you may need for your clients. Now, if you're not familiar with eCode, Cameron did an awesome job on the topic last week. The video can be found on boyespresso.com. Uh, the eCode page will open and it opens in a different tab. So it kind of makes it easier for you to get back to the ship locator. And from here, we'll just go back to the Galveston home port. And that's it. Super easy to navigate. You're able to see where the ships are being deployed. Anything with a hyperlink will give you additional information. So that's pretty much it for your ship locator. All right. Next up is one of my favorite tools to use in cruising power, Cruise Planner. So Cruise Planner is located under the Planning Tools tab within Cruising Power. So let's walk through how to um, access that section. Now, Cruise Planner allows our guests to you know, shop and book cruise announcements, such as Wi-Fi, beverage packages, shows, dining and experience, any, any, anything that's gonna pretty much enhance your cruise. While we understand you're not able to access and make these purchases for your clients, this page will assist you by pretty much viewing what is available for them to book and the associated prices 
to kind of get that conversation started about their interests into what they can use to enhance their you know, vacation experience. Once you're on the landing page, you want to enter the ship and the sailing date that you are interested in viewing and press begin search. The steps are similar for both brands as you can see on the screen. Now, just a reminder, if your clients have promotional onboard credits, so maybe this was under a wall promotion, this can also be used towards their purchases in cruise plan. So they don't have to wait until they get on board the ship to start you know, securing the dinner, dining options or you know, purchasing that beverage package. Clicking on any of the menu topics will present additional information. So on the screen, we're looking at Royal Caribbean and you have short excursions, beverage package, dining and so forth. Similar for celebrity, same makeup, short excursions, drinks, Wi-Fi, dining, packages, spa. So it makes it super easy, very user friendly if they are clients for royal versus celebrity, or if you're handling both brands, it makes it very easy for you to be able to explain the inform explain this and the navigation of it to your clients. All right. Now here, once we have dining selected, for example, what you're going to see is the display for dining itself for any of the options that you have selected. If there are any sort of sales or any promotions, you'll see it similar to Le Petit Chef, where it initially it was $60 per guest. Now it's $54.99. It shows you dollars off, 8% off pre-cruise savings. And that is pretty much your cruise planner. Very user friendly and very helpful for your clients and for you to just assist them in navigating and securing any sort of cruise enhancement options prior to getting on board and having to join the lines. So once they get on board, they can start their cruise. Start enjoying their cruise, yeah. All right, we have one more to cover. Okay, so this cover icon microsite. We're all excited. We can't wait for the icon of the seas to come out. Um, this covering icon microsite that is going to also be in cruising power. All right. Now, from, from once you log into cruise cruising power, you're gonna go under the sales and marketing section. This cover icon of the seas. And this is the home page. So that's your home page. Discover icon of the C's and microsite. Beautiful page. Now to the very top right hand side, there's an option that says start planning your vacation. And if you notice, um, you're gonna have your agent name, agency, email, and phone number. All of these are defaulted based on your login information. Now to the top left hand side is a menu bar. The menu bar pretty much goes over different features for Icon of the Seas. So you have Icon Thrills, Chills, Wows. And with, with you clicking on any of these, it will present additional information for you. For example, Icon Chills. So that's your home page for Icon Chills. And it's gonna, of course, talk about everything Icon Chills. Displaying iconic chills, you'll find images, videos that goes through each of the menu options that were displayed. Now, as I said before, to the top right hand side where you see share with your clients. What I really love about the icon site is the ability to customize the site and present it to your clients or you know, just to get people interested in booking. Now, clicking on share with your clients offer you the option to create your own microsite that will link your guests to a customized page with information on Icon of the Seas. It presents your contact information the displayed message is auto-generated, but it's easy to modify. 
So once you've logged in and you click share with your client, what you see there, I am pleased to reveal the newest ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet and hope this is the start of creating iconic vacations together. That is the defaulted message. But guess what? You can share it. You can change it. So let's say you have some clients and you want to make it a little bit more personable. Hello, Thomas family. I am pleased to reveal and so forth. And then you can actually end it with your um, signature, with your name. All right, so I updated the custom message to make it a little bit more personable for your clients. Now, what I want you to focus on is the middle. Share with your clients right here. Because what's going to happen is once you have clicked share with your clients, the system automatically creates a link for you. So you see the message has changed and it indicates the link has been copied. In this case, you will be able to right click using your mouse and select paste, or you can use shortcut control on your um, computer that CTRL plus V to paste and send to your clients or wherever your marketing material lives, you can also copy and send it there. Now I'll show you what your clients see on their end. Now this is the client view. It's very similar to what you saw before. To the top left hand side, clicking on start planning your vacation will bring your clients to the bottom of the page. A list of deployed sailings will be displayed. From here, they can click on make a request. And what will happen is a form will be displayed for your clients to complete and it goes to your inbox for follow up and you can start building that relationship from there. Okay, and that pretty much brings us to the end of today's session. So we went over three very key user friendly tips. Uh, that is your ship locator cruise planner, and using the icon microsite. Three ways to help you in your navigation of using cruising power and just using it to your advantage. As always, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure hosting you and sharing our knowledge to improve your automation processes. I really hope these tips will assist you in your navigation of cruising power. If you have any additional questions on navigating cruising power tools, please email espresso training at rccl.com for assistance and inquiries. We wish you continued success in your business and we hope that you'll join us next week. Have yourself a fantastic Thursday.